Okay. See my screen okay? Yep, yep. All right, good. Okay. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, uh, up this deal, I found some old wildlife photos that I've taken all in the backyard. So I thought once a week I'd throw in one. And this is one I had from many years ago, taken with a little point and shoot out the window, our living room window in Colorado Springs. Mm -hmm. And we had a lot of deer in the backyard. We were in the foothills there and <clears throat> happened to catch this deer with two fawns. Looks like just one, but if you start oh, counting yeah. legs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a lot of legs there. <laughs> a lot of extra yeah. legs there. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, it was kind of a unique scene, but um, it uh, was pretty common to have little fawns in the yard with their mother. So, but I just threw this one in. It wouldn't be fine art, but I guess. Some of the other people that turned in animal or wildlife pictures might like it. Yeah, sure, why not? Yeah. Yeah, I wonder if it would make a kind of a fun watercolor factor. Maybe you could play around with it. Well, it might, I didn't. Uh, it's a uh, pretty uh, low resolution JPEG. Yeah. I don't know if that, of course that might, be covered up by the watercolor yeah, true effect. Yeah. This is kind of kind of almost muted tones and a little keep it a little pale, and I think it would, it would probably look like a nice watercolor. Oh, well, I can give it a shot. That's quick to do. Yeah, why not? All right, let's move on to the next one here. Okay. This one, well, you saw it last week uh, in black and white uh, over in Bisbee. Uh, I actually started with this picture in color, but then uh, kind of liked it and thought it might look okay in black and white. So then I did the black and white, but this was what I intended to do. But I was just looking at shapes and uh, patterns. I thought it looked nice. At considered the possibility of cropping at the bottom to get rid of the slope of the street, but thought that might not work too well. But anyway, I don't know if that's distracting or not. Well, after shooting all the hill towns, I was, I kind of like that. It gives it kind of an <laughs> awkward dimension, and like, yeah, especially the, yeah. the steeper ones, but this one's yeah. really not yeah. that good. It's, it's, it's in Bisbee and you got to climb all those hills anyway. Why not? Right. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. I wonder, yeah. Uh, were they in the process of repainting that sign or is that just the way? Uh, no, uh, this was actually done using the Topaz oil painting filter and that did it uh, where it filled in the letters. And so oh, okay. The straight picture, it, it was just nicely and neat. Uh, but that uh, the filter brought in all that kind of blotchy stuff on the, mm -hmm. the blocks on the right and left side, and uh, which I guess to some extent was in there in the original, it just wasn't as yeah, obvious. Just probably picked it up and enhanced it. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, that seems to be an issue with some of Topaz's uh, effects that uh, you know, get a little fill in in between things like that. Right, like the webs between tree branches and things yeah, like exactly. that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, so I guess this is very similar. Yeah, well, I guess you could finish the E's and the B and the A. And <laughs> yeah, yeah I guess I could. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, anybody else uh, got any comments on this one? All right, move on to the next one. <laughs> Yeah. This Bisbee also. Uh, I don't remember uh, if that Royale was a theater or what it was, but uh, anyway, that uh, was a good sized imitation bug, as you can tell from the window. Big fly. Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's pretty big. Anyway, I just threw that in as a little oddball scene. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a fun perspective. Uh, what do you think about knocking this uh, this window out over here? Uh, I thought about that and then didn't do it. Uh, but yeah, it would have been easy to just use the clone tool and yeah. wipe that out. Uh, you kind of uh, wonder if it's not a like an exterminating company, just what <laughs> it is. <laughs> it could be. Yeah. yeah. Toxic chemicals that make big creatures. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, if that's a hotel, would you want to stay there? I'm not sure. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah, you wonder what kind of bugs they got in the beds. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, yeah. really new, 2012. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. All right. Okay. This is the old La Placita garage downtown that I... I've done this several different ways. Uh, this one uh, was the, let's see, this is the artistic color sketch uh, filter. And I used a digital frame. I just discovered Topaz had the digital frame option that has all kind of interesting <laughs> options with it. Yeah, I was surprised you hadn't used that before because you spent a lot of time building them. Yeah, well, yeah, I was doing it uh, the hard way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I really like that. Yeah, yeah. I like that a lot. Yeah, that's that really nice. Yeah. Yeah, it's got so many options. You can change shadows and uh, frame to map. Uh, dimensions and so forth. Now, did the topaz change the color? Yeah, were uh, those colors actually in the original picture? They are pretty close to the original. Okay. It muted them a little bit. They're a little more pastel mm -hmm. than the original. Yeah, that's and nice. I really, I really like that. Yeah. I, uh, I've done it, as I say, different ways, mostly straight uh, processing, but this time I tried to see what Topaz would do with it. Mm -hmm. What it filter in, was it? What it's the, it's in the color sketch, and uh, color sketch and digital frame. Uh, it's in the artistic collection of filters. Okay, good. Where's Jim? How you doing? Good. Good. Yeah, it almost feels like a zipper here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's nice. Yeah. yeah, that's really cool. I like that. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, I like it's relaxing and it's still simplistic. Yeah. I don't know if that garage is still there. I've torn down the uh, La Placita area, as I understand. The buildings there, but I would say it was there a couple of years ago. Wendell, oh. I've got I've got pictures and those walls that you're seeing leading into it. Um, oh, weren't there anymore. If this was the entrance that was right across from the convention center. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. okay, yeah. So you wouldn't maybe be able to. Well, I don't know if this walkway that I was on would still be there or not. But yeah, anyway. Anyway, that uh, was an interesting place for photography. Yeah, it was real nice. I liked it a lot. I like the little drop shadow you got here, too, so it almost looks like it's floating in the frame. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that I found by playing around and thought I'd stick it in like I'd gone to trouble putting a spacer behind the print. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the shadow though goes in the wrong direction. Is your... Yeah, I was just going to mention that this this one needs to go this way or oh, oh. vice versa. Yeah. Oh, to, what to match the sunlight and the yeah picture itself. Oh, okay. 
Well, yeah, um, yeah, it would probably probably be this way on this one. Yeah, and, yeah. And this way, mm -hmm. same would be over here. Yeah. yeah, that's a good consideration, Jim. Yeah, but I guess topaz does keep the shadow of the frame and the shadow of the photo uh, all yeah, I don't know in the same gonna, direction. Yeah, I don't know if it's got a directional thing on it or not. Um, yeah, well, it do have what direction you can yeah have does. the light from oh okay good yeah i know a lot of the effects in photoshop too but yeah i, I think the default was the upper left uh -huh. where i left it yeah gotcha okay okay next guy here wow nice that's okay. cool yeah this was also down at la placita in the actual main area from a balcony and looking down at the patio and uh, kind of like the arrangement, I used the topaz watercolor and also used the digital frame with it. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it seemed like a light pole isn't quite the right angle, but that's the way it really was. No, it looks okay. Yeah. I like the patterning in the stone too. The yeah, yeah, that that mm -hmm. was in there, uh, and the, the watercolor did show it up nicely. Yep. Now so. it's kind of interesting, you know, that that fill area that it has. On, yeah, yeah. It seems to work on this one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's it works for you instead of against you. Shadows, not so bad. Yeah. Mm. Interesting. Well, thanks. Those are fun. All right. Let's see. Well, Jim, I guess you're here. So let's, uh, let's go to you next. Oh. Hmm. Wow. Yeah. So this is uh, the Apache dancers that um, they go down to the um, Let's see here. I think it's a Chumacacri. Mm. And so I did a, some pictures there, but I didn't like the background in it. So I, I used a more just a neutral background. So I put him in there. Kind of like the more of an Arizona look. Yeah. So you didn't give him a tummy tuck where you're at it, huh? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way they are. <laughs> yeah. Nowadays, yeah. I, yeah. back in the day, there were probably not too many fat Apaches. You know? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. But, not like the Hawaiians, too. Yeah. Right, yeah. yeah. Well, starch in the diets, yeah. Yeah. Well, the hood that he's wearing is interesting. I guess he must have had eye holes around the, the yeah. red, red areas. Yeah, yeah, he did. Oh. <laughs> kind of spooky. All the all of the uh, dancers wear those. Oh. So it wasn't just him. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I like. And then I put a. But, uh, you know, I put a definitely a topaz a kind of a colored, uh, colorized, uh, maybe it's a painting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks like a painterly art. Yeah. Yeah, it looks really nice in the background, too. Hmm. Yep. Interesting. So go on to the next, I guess. Okay. Oh. So this is uh, uh, the painted, uh, what is it called? The painted uh, desert that's oh. there. And I really exaggerated the colors, but it just kind of gave it a real nice, uh, this was a, a, what they call a swirl. Mm -hmm. and push the colors in it and that's the way it kind of, kind of came out yeah, i like the mountain yeah. yeah 
Yeah. Looks like a far side of the moon, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like the way these two areas interact too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very nice. Yeah. And that left hand portion does give it some perspective too. Yeah. Yeah. As far as you know, size and everything is concerned. So yeah, for sure. Yeah, so this one is uh, this one is called uh, the remix on uh, Topaz it's mm -hmm. remix, and uh, I think the peachy was one of the colors. So this this is a also the painted desert. Mm -hmm. We took a trip up there a couple mm -hmm. times. Mm -hmm. Yeah. These are getting quite illustrative, both of these images you, you're showing. Yeah, I wanted just something different. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's sort of like uh, that, that mountain is really kind of really unusual mm -hmm. because it just stop, it just pops up out of nowhere mm -hmm. right in the middle of, and you know, it's like just amazing how it just pops out. Got, kind of like Ayers Rock in Australia. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. well, they renamed that something else. I can't remember what it is now. But yeah, it's got that same kind of feel. Yeah. Nice. Well, I like the color palette a lot. Yeah, I like those too. Yeah. yeah. Just the, go ahead. No, go ahead. Uh, I was just going to say the clouds have kind of a yellowish look. Is that part of that peachy? Yeah, it's a peachy look on it. Yeah. Uh, I tried to brush a little bit of it out, but uh, so it wasn't so much, but mm -hmm. uh, it, it gives it an overall good look, though. I, yeah. The. Um, that peachy look is, uh, I had to take maybe, I forget how much, maybe a 20, 30% out of those clouds. Mm. Yeah. yeah. I like the perspective from the near going out to that big mountain. Just looks so natural. Yeah, I, uh, I did some, uh, experiments with uh, focus stacking and um, I'll bring those next time maybe but it was you know getting focus from the far foreground to all the way to the background mm -hmm. but I I negated it all because I wound up using this topaz remix filter and because I like the color yeah. Like it's a nice desert look, you know. Yeah, it's almost got like a '50s palette, like some of those old Western paintings you see at the museum. Ah, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah. Neat. Same thing. Nice. Yeah, I like that. It's my front yard. <laughs> oh. And. Uh, everything is starting to bloom. Wow. So, um, but again, you know, just a kind of a simple flowers and, and then the desert background. Hmm. Yeah, I like that effect. Do you remember which one it was? Uh, let me see. You know, um, it's again Topaz. I think it was, um, it's one of, it's probably Degas or something like that. Oh, okay. Yeah, works out nicely. Okay. So 
Oh, here's a, a real jackrabbit. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell by the ears. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, you know, you don't see too many of them, though. No. no. Back in the back country, and I was going up toward um, Elephant, um, what do they call it? Elephant Ridge, or what do they call that? Elephant Head? Elephant Head Ridge, or something like that. Oh, oh. Anyways, I was looking back in there for a good view of the mountain, and, and I saw him, so I thought, oh, he's better yet. <laughs> <laughs> They're amazing. Yeah, it was huge legs, too. Yeah. Yeah, and, and kind of skinny, and oh, yeah. mm -hmm. real different. Yeah. But he's sitting on a hill and kind of tough, but I think he did all right. And then right. the background. Oh, yeah. So the back, I mean, in other words, the foreground is just natural, straight photos. And then I put in, um, I think, uh, a background that was just to soften the background that is, again, a painterly look. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like the way it drops back. It really accentuates the rabbit, the jackrabbit. And you got some nice effects going up in here. And I like the light on his ears too. too. Yeah. yeah, yeah. See all the veins and uh, stuff. Yeah. Nice. So that was a yeah. nice surprise for you. Now I've I've seen those on the road up to um, the telescope. Um, God, I can't remember the name of the one that you okay. did. Yeah, I think so. Just up off, um, is it Elephant Head Road? Maybe if you take a, a right yeah. off of that and go up. But I've, yeah. I've seen them there at night, but um, not in the daytime. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've seen them down toward Patagonia running across the road, but I've never seen them yeah. sitting still long enough to take a picture. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Okay. All right. Okay. Just keep running up the line here. Let's go to Don. Yeah, this is in uh, Sweetwater. Uh, I don't know, Sweetwater Trails. And it looked like a jackrabbit cactus to me. So <laughs> <laughs> it certainly does. <laughs> Yeah, but that caught my eye, and then I added the clouds and stuff to it. Mm -hmm. huh. Yeah, the clouds were kind of nice. So Thank it was you. just a blue sky. Yeah, yeah, it was. It was all blue. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Gotcha. I wonder if just a very mild vignette might bring you more into him. It might, yeah. yeah. I put. I think I've got one on it, but it's not very strong. Mm -hmm. Maybe just to hear more. Yeah. And then that trick we did last week with uh, with Maureen's cactus, where we bring up a little more clarity and and maybe some some sharpness or something. Just okay. To, yeah, just to kind of bring him out and maybe maybe add a little more uh, vibrance to him too. Okay. Yeah, that separate him a little better. Fun. Okay. Oh, nice. Where were these? Oh, the wow. Beehives, uh, the charcoal kilns in uh, Death Valley. Hmm. Oh. I miss okay. where, 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 where were oh. they? Uh, they're up high. Um, I can't tell you exactly <laughs> where they <laughs> was at. It was uh, the uh, the lost. Uh, Lost Migrants Trail Road. Okay. Yeah, you know, we that's, that that, that's, that's the way in to it. Okay. Uh, yeah. It's about a, oh man, it's about a 45 minute hour drive at anywhere from five to 15 mile an hour, uh, twisters and stuff up to it. Yeah, but, okay. uh, they're, uh, they're 25 foot tall mm. and uh, they held, uh, I think, 40, 42 cords of wood. 
And over a period of, I think, about two weeks, they would produce 2,000 bushel of uh, charcoal. And they used that in the uh, silver and uh, lead mining business. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they don't, are no longer in use, right? No, but they're, they, they claim they're the best preserved uh, charcoal oh. kilns left in the, in the country. Oh, yeah. Mm. Wow. Interesting. Uh, yeah. They really are. Now, the, the, the openings are about uh, a little over five foot tall. So my wife could walk through without ducking her head. So mm. She's about 5'1". Mm. Yeah. yeah, if energy costs the way they're going, well, we may be doing that again. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Well, I'd probably just nick this little... Uh, yeah, I seen that. I'm sitting here looking. I didn't notice yeah. that before. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I don't know if that's a person or what out here. I'd uh, it might have been a nameplate. Yeah, maybe get rid of that too, and then you're pretty much good to go. And I don't know about this piece here. I guess you could take it or leave it. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Oh, yeah. Uh, this is uh, the ghost town there in, in uh, Death Valley. Uh, I can't think of the name of it now. Dexler or something. Dexler. Oh, uh, Rhyolite. Rhyolite. That's it. Yep. That's <laughs> it. Yep. Mm. I think that was the bank. Yeah. It got robbed. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they blew it up. Yeah. Yeah, they put too much powder in when they tried to blow the safe. Uh, yeah, it's just going to be a little explosion. <laughs> yeah. but, uh, in this day, it must have been quite a bank because of the blue, uh, yeah. blue accents and stuff. And yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. it's yeah. a very building too. Yeah, Wendell, you probably remember the "It's a Mad, 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 Mad World." Yeah, the film. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I saw it, I don't remember. With Sid Caesar and um, God, I can't think of the actress's name in the basement of the hardware store. And they were trapped down there and trying to get out. So huh. he was going to blow it up. I mean, blow, oh. a hole in, <laughs> blow a hole in the wall. <laughs> well, yeah, I don't remember that. I remember the movie Butch Cassidy and the Sundance yeah. Kid where yeah. they blew up the whole train <laughs> car. <laughs> Money yep. flying everywhere. Yeah, well, yeah, this is a place I've been and I've been using pictures of this ruin in some of my made up uh, kind of weird assemblies of photos. Well, I love the detail and the color in the rocks, Don. Oh, thank you. Yeah. This, that really was a tough day to photograph. They had the Santa Anna winds kicked up the last oh, two days yeah. we were there. Oh, wow. And I couldn't hardly stand outside and take it. I think I took mm. this further away in, from inside the car. Oh, yeah. You couldn't, you couldn't hardly push the door open against it. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. It's yeah, sad. Remember those from San Diego. Mm. Oh, yeah. When they That's come the over first the time mountains. I've ever experienced it. Yeah. <laughs> that was something. They will sandblast you. Yeah. yeah. They got a really nice color on the hills beyond, too. That yeah. That's I gorgeous. Remember. Yeah, the pink. Right yeah, this is really pretty. Yeah. Yeah. All these different variegations. Yeah. Nice. Must be near Zabriskie, I would think. Uh, well, it's, it's, I don't know. No, it's, it's further away. miles or so. It's at the north entrance to the Death Valley. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Go up from wow. Colored Las beautiful. Vegas. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the bottle house. Yeah. If you, anybody that's been there before probably remember that that's in that same area. Yeah. Yeah, you got nice colors in this. The pinkish on the house against the yeah. blue of the hills. That came out quite nice. I've got a, the same picture, but it didn't look as good. Yeah. This guy looks pretty healthy, too. Yeah. 
Now, somebody still live there, Don, or is that? Uh... You know, I don't know. They got chain link fence around it, or ah. a wire fence around it, and I stuck my lens between the through the wire to get it. Uh, they got a padlock on it, so I don't know if anybody lives there anymore or not. <laughs> and it didn't say anything about having hours or anything where you could go through it. Yeah. Hmm. Are these just rocks or bottles or what? What is this down here? That I can't tell you. Looks like bottles. They really paid any yeah, attention. Almost almost looks like bottles. broken glass. Yeah, yeah. Looks like they yeah. upended them and oh, put them in the ground. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, bottoms yeah. of bottles. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. That was his sidewalk, I guess. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I didn't even notice that. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. <laughs> yeah. Too funny. Yeah, that could have been the original entrance, and then this new sidewalk and the foreground yeah. might be something added much later. Yeah, it would be it'd be kind of neat to get inside and take pictures if you could. I, I wonder yeah. if they stick yeah. all the way through the wall. Yeah, I agree yeah. with you. Mm -hmm. that, I'd like to see uh, what kind of uh, light it has inside. Oh, yeah, yeah. it's got to be really colorful if they go all the way yeah. through. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, there's a uh, actually an earth ramp. Uh, no, it wasn't earth ramp. It was uh, what do they call them? Earth ships. Um, yeah. they build them with yeah. the tires and stuff. There's one yeah. up in Tucson. Um, well, it's, it's a little southwest of Tucson, and uh, they had a wall like that, and the light oh. was coming from the south. I had a somewhere out to look for it, but uh, it's kind of interesting. Yeah, mm. pretty. And I think most of the bottles on that one were green. That looked kind of neat. Yeah. All right. Whoa. And that's just the sand dunes there that I tried it. That oh, you yeah. see on the lower part the sand blowing and uh, it's oh, building yeah. up. And then you just the creases in the sand is where it, it the le builds up as a ledge and then collapses and, and rolls yeah. down. Mm. But that, that was one of really windy days. There was a yeah. there was a few that was hardy enough to walk out in there. But yeah. yeah, you can see it is Sam yeah. up here. Yeah. Hmm. Huh. Wow. Now what causes the uh, the blue sky uh, a little bit of uh, I don't know aberration on the on the where it meets where the sand meets the sky. Well, that's not sky. It looks that's, like more of the mountains. That, that's the background. Yeah. That's the mountain behind it. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah that's the mountain. I shot that oh. with my 500 millimeter. Yeah. Uh, it almost looks like... So that it really softened it up behind that. Yeah. Looks like sky. Yeah, it almost looks like <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, yeah, there's an interesting edge here. Yeah. 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 I assume I, that was a shadow, yeah, but I don't know that. Yeah. And I like the guy here for scale and it. I really yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that's, that's really why cool. I took that picture. I had some other ones of the dunes that I liked better, but they didn't have the, that guy in it. Well, that guy really makes that, I thought. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but I really like the way this leads off. It makes you wonder what's beyond, too. Mm. Very nice. Thank you. Okay. Okay, Ali, you're next. Oh. These pictures are all taken uh, today with a Canon uh, 5D Mark II that I have quit using years ago. Uh, it was the first camera, uh, Canon ca uh, DSLR that would shoot movies. Hmm. Uh, and uh, it wasn't the first DSLR that shoot movies, but I think it beat Nikon. Uh, and I'm not sure, there was somebody else that had one that came out before that. But anyway, uh, I I just went back through all of my 5D Mark II pictures and picked out uh, some that I thought were pretty good. 
uh, and I reprocessed most of these. And one of the things I had to do in the reprocessing uh, processes was they were in version three and the current version is version five. So I had to convert versions uh, to bring it into the modern Lightroom. Uh, mm -hmm. So uh, uh, that was one example of, of uh, Lightroom wasn't the same then. Uh, this particular picture, they're not in the order. So I had to look up, I looked, oh, the, this is in Amboseli, Kenya. Oh, okay. And it's, it's a uh, school room there. It kind of reminds me that it could have been taken in the early 1900s in Southern US. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, uh, anyway, uh, I thought it worked well at the time. And I didn't do a whole lot to this one recently. I thought it worked well at the time uh, in in monochrome and, and in a little bit of a sepia look. So, mm -hmm. yeah, really nice. Yes, it does. Yeah, works out well. And it was t this one was taken in 2014 in October. <laughs> yeah. Real nice. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's interesting. All of the writing on the blackboard is in English. Uh, in Kenya, yeah. English is an official language. Oh, okay. It was a British and colony. Most schools British. are it was taught British. in English. Mm, okay. Uh, kids, when they're born, speak their own, uh, the, the, Black kids, mm -hmm. which is most of the country, uh, speak their own native language, which is a tribal language. So they have a lot mm -hmm. of different tribal languages throughout the country. Mm -hmm. uh, then uh, they all learn how to speak Swahili, which is kind of a universal African language. But schools and everything are taught in English. Okay. So. Uh, uh, and uh, one of the things they had the kids do was, was read stories to uh, the people who were visiting. And third graders and stuff like that would read as well from an English book as uh, uh, kids in the United States. They, they oh. did a really good job. Hmm. Uh, I got tickled when when one, one child was reading to my wife, there was one word that he got uh, caught up on. And it was a word I wouldn't have expected because it was hippopotamus. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he did. I suspect they just called them hippos or maybe they called them whatever their, their uh, tribal yeah. language called right. them. And yeah. he didn't recognize the name hippopotamus. Hmm. About every other word he recognized. But, uh, okay. Huh. Well, that's a mouthful anyway. Yeah. That's a neat picture. Yeah. Yes, it is. It's interesting there. They got poachers. Yeah. And they're <laughs> wild elephants for ivory. I can't make out the yeah. word in front of wild. But, yeah. I mean, that's that's Just the real kill it. the real world there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and I am suspicious that that blackboard was uh, put there in part to uh, impress visitors. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. So that that might not have been a normal blackboard. Mm -hmm. It actually looks like somebody blackened part of the wall. But, uh, yeah, that's the way they do. I. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I don't I don't know. Yeah. Could have been my photo process too. Yeah. Well, I see a lot of yeah, that's a cool picture. <laughs>
Interesting. But one of the things, this was an OAT trip, and one of the mm. things OAT does is go visit places like this, and they encourage us to bring stuff with us uh, mm -hmm. to give to the schools. Mm -hmm. And and yeah. so uh, uh, while we visit, and, and uh, um, this was my first OAT trip. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what is OAT? What's that? What is OAT? OAT is Overseas Adventure Travel. Okay. And they do uh, tours all over the world. Uh, and one of their uh, calls is that they limit the number of people on the tours to 15. So that you're in a small group. Yep. That's always nice. Yeah. They're a division of Grand Circle Travel who does a lot more conventional, large, larger group trips. But Grand Circle uh, owns OAT. Right. Yeah. But they're a very similar organization, but but they they do uh, uh, bigger groups and uh, more conventional places to go. Yes. But they do a good job. They've they, done I, both. I've never heard anything bad about them. No. Interesting. Well, the CP tone definitely works here. Yes. Nice. Oh, nice. This is in Bryce Canyon. Uh, this picture was taken with a 12 to 24 millimeter lens. Uh, it's a Sigma lens. Uh, and it happens to be at 17 millimeters. Uh, this is completely un cropped so there's there's no crop to it whatsoever it's just right out of the camera co composition wise uh but i i have enjoyed that particular lens uh but i i just like that that old tree yeah yeah oh, yeah you got the clouds with the Kind of upward to the left sweep to match the tree there. Yeah, yeah I, but, I, I, I did that on purpose. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you're waiting it, for the it, clouds. You're, you're correct. It was it was very fortuitous. Yeah. Uh, that that the uh, cloud sweep matched the tree sweep, mm -hmm. and and uh, uh, mm -hmm. so the clouds worked beautifully that day. Mm -hmm. For that particular shot, and because I was at a pretty wide angle, as you can imagine, I'm a whole lot closer to that tree than it looks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I really like the roots. Yeah, yeah, and they're yeah. exaggerated, of course, by the wide sure. angle. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, and yeah, it looks like the wind blew the dirt out from around them. Yeah. Scoured the surface there. Yeah, it's the trees of survivor. <laughs> mm -hmm. But I, I like the way this rolls and tugs into the corner from the distortion, but it's it's working mm -hmm. with it instead of mm -hmm. against it. Yeah. Same up here. Yeah, nice. Oh, interesting. That's cool. <laughs> this yeah. was taken in early January in 1912, or 2012. <laughs> oh, That's yeah. the wrong century. <laughs> uh, and it was at Palm Cove, Australia, which is a, a small town near Cairns on the uh, northern uh, coast of Australia. And a really nice restaurant, which is probably about a hundred yards off the beach, uh, uh, set up a table in these rows of palms and 
and just set it up there. And I thought it was kind of neat, and I took a picture of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, it just said, I uh, used that picture a number of times uh, uh, in classes to uh, uh, demonstrate elimination of objects. And I eliminated the table and chairs. Oh. Mm -hmm. And after I got through, everybody said, yeah, I shouldn't have eliminated them. <laughs> No, I like it. Yeah. Yeah, I do too. They always say take an ordinary, a picture of an ordinary object and put it in an unordinary place. And that sure is it. Mm -hmm. that, that does it, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah now sure. on that one, I, I did a sky selection and darkened the sky, which in 1912, I couldn't have done. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> I mean, 2012. 20, I couldn't have done it in 1912. <laughs> Sure. You're in old, but you're that you're not that old. Yeah. Yeah. In, 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 I'd like to yeah, see your camera from back born. then. In, in 2012, uh, I uh, that would have not been <clears throat> very feasible to uh, select that sky. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I also uh, uh, did some uh, uh, lightning of shadows uh, recently. I mean, like getting it ready for uh, you guys. So, but everything was done in Lightroom. Uh, yeah, to select that sky back in the day, you would have had to do. Um, and I don't the, think that's dropped at all. So. Yeah. Uh, that was take. That was taken with a twenty-four to one hundred five. Our our standard go-to lens for for a full frame. And uh, of course, it was my uh, uh, walk around lens for that camera for years. So, mm -hmm. nice. Well, yeah, I recognize this. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, this was a little before you were there this last time, anyway. Yeah. Were you in Venice this last time? Yes. Uh, that's the uh, uh, main canal uh, from uh, the Grand Canal from from the uh, uh, Rialto Bridge. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay. Uh, and so, uh, uh, and in reprocessing it, uh, I. I selected the sky and uh, darkened it up a little bit. It, it was uh, actually a, about an hour later than this, it, it came up a pretty good storm. Hmm. Uh, and uh, we spent three or four days in Venice. Uh, we had a hotel in Venice. And, uh, the one thing we tried to do as we were walking around Venice was to get lost and we couldn't do it. Oh, uh, you always ended up coming out somewhere familiar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you tried. <laughs> yeah. But, but we did our best to get off in a, uh, you know, a side street where we have trouble getting back. And about two turns later, we're back on a main street. So mm -hmm. uh, anyway, but, uh, and then I, I did some, uh, a little bit of reprocessing of the foreground, but not much. Mm -hmm. Uh, but uh, uh, I kind of like this picture. It, it, it's pretty emblematic of Venice. Mm -hmm. uh, for those of you who've been there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, I guess. That's, the... it, 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 it just, that's Venice. Yeah. yeah. The lighting is different than what I'd seen there. I, it might be because of the clouds, the storm coming in and all that's got a little bluer look to it than yeah. what I remembered. Well, that's the shady side too, because um, I remember yeah. shooting it, you know. Um, yeah, I could have taken some of the blue pants. As soon as you get under it and turn around maybe. to try and shoot back, it, it was very shady. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Nice. Nice though.
Yeah, good spot. Nice and busy. Not too busy though. It's good. Got a little guy coming up. So when we was there the other year, it was it was. I mean, the boats just everywhere. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They had them stacked up trying to get through. Well, yep. Didn't mean to do that. Let me get back here. Yeah. I don't know. I, I see if you could tone this down and maybe this guy just a little bit because I keep popping up there. Just a thought. All righty. Go down this next one. Uh, let me show the before first. Uh, this is Frankfurt, Germany. <clears throat> uh, that is a financial building. It contains a bank, but it contains a lot more than just a bank. But uh, uh, I thought the way that it interacted with the sky was fantastic. Mm -hmm. And I was in a yeah. park and, and uh, uh, that particular view from the park I, I enjoyed. Uh, and I like the little girl in there playing. Mm -hmm. I, I've got, I've, I, I could take the little girl out. And I could take her out the easiest way you could ever do that. And that is the next picture I took, she wasn't in it. Yeah. Same spot, everything. Yeah. But. Uh, and then you've got this light post, which you took out in this shot. Oh yeah. So that was. Container work. I, I I sent that off and then I was going through them again and I saw that light post and I said oh. I'd like to get rid of that. Yeah. So I sent it off again and I I told Sandy that I'd done it and he said he'd show the before and after. <laughs> uh, but that was taken in uh, it again. It was my twenty four to one hundred five. Uh, but it was taken in 2013, so that was uh, nine years ago. And I'm not sure how easy it would have been to take that light post out nine years ago. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, you didn't have content aware. Yeah. And, and uh, it, it would have taken some time, and I'm not sure my skill would have been able to do it yeah. at the time. And you uh, had to clone it out. Yeah, Pix pixelate it and clone it. That's what I yeah. do. Yeah, yeah. 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 And uh, with that complex background, it would have been a little difficult to, yeah. to get it to look right. But content aware, it just looks natural. Mm -hmm. Yep. Now you see it. Now you don't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Making it too easy for us. Yeah. <laughs> well, nice. Thanks, Al. Let's see. Well, this week I uh, was going through some old stuff. Um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with a um, oh, uh, website called Society6. Um, they have. Uh, so a lot of photographic and a lot of product stuff too, you know, like mugs and you know um, some furniture and other things. So I, I just started putting some things up on there, and uh, I was going through some of the old things. I uh, thought I'd show those. Actually, let's see. Hang on here. Let me just hide this real quick. Maybe I can find it. Oh, Wendell. Yes. I looked up the Royale over in Bisbee. It's a movie theater. Oh, okay. <laughs> Kind of our, looks like one of those, uh, um, what they used to call rocking chair theaters back back east, but go in, get beer, wine, whatever you want, something to eat, oh, like watch the movie. So Okay. Yeah, because founded in 2012, that fits yeah. in with the trend of that thing. Oh, that'd be a fun place to go if they, yeah. the movie I wanted to see. Yeah. There you go. 
So here's the website. Um, and you know, they, they have all kinds of different things. This happens to be a bar stool, but I, I just did like oh. a flower image on it. it works out kind of neat. But, hmm. uh, let's see if I can. Here's a home page uh, for my stuff and so far. So there's a lot of prints oh. out there, and then uh, oh, okay. Yeah, and then they, they mix it up with, you know different things they sell they have tote bags and mugs and stickers and oh oh yeah and hmm. uh, yeah so it's kind of interesting um yeah oh. t-shirts and hmm. well, do you send them that they sell so huh. do, do you send them the image and they make up the product well, I, yeah, but right now I've just put the images up and um, let them market and sell it. And then they give you, uh, you figure out what your markup you want on it. And, uh, they have a default and you can either raise it or lower it. Uh, and they give you the difference. Hmm. But yeah, you can send your own stuff in and get it done as well. So, uh, hmm. You know, whatever hmm. the cost is. But yeah, it's kind of an interesting site. So yeah. just started playing around with that a bit. The thing is, I think the minimum size uh, image they they want to cover everything is sixty five hundred pixels on the short side. So, mm -hmm. uh, oh yeah, they, and they said don't interpolate. I'm thinking, yeah, right. Everybody <laughs> with a Hasselblad back or whatever, <laughs> <laughs> a big camera with a phase one back on it or something. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. So. Um, so we did a little bit of interpolation, but yeah, was, well, the R five. Pretty, came pretty close to covering it, but mm -hmm. some of the older ones did not mm. work out. So now you got the enhanced possibility in uh, Lightroom so you can bump it twice. Exactly, yeah, yeah. I that quite a bit, uh, which helped. Uh, yeah, you've got it in Photoshop as well, but you got to do it uh, on yeah. the way in through the camera raw. I yep. tried doing it through camera raw as a filter and it, it wouldn't show, so I, you have to do it on the way in. But I think that's one way to overcome that. Yeah, exactly. Yep. So yeah, let me get back to some of these. So this is one of the ones I picked. Let me just uh, yeah, make it full frame and get the menus out of the way. This was down in Galveston. Oh, okay. kind of a famous old soda fountain drugstore. Hmm. <coughs> yeah, it looks like Art Deco style. Yeah. The, yeah, with the ribs on it on the side. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, I brought in the topaz and used um, impression on it. Hmm. Yeah, cool. Next one. Ah, uh, Bodie. Uh, oh. One little, almost like a museum room that you walked inside uh, and uh, one of the cases uh, was backlit from the window and uh, mm. a nice shot all the old whiskey bottles mm. and then this is the pecan orchards in the spring when they flood them oh yeah and before they they start getting the leaves on top they i guess they got them all trimmed and ready to go Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they were sure raising some dust across the valley, though. Oh, bad. Yeah. 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 That was major dust. It looked like it. It looked like the clouds yeah. went up a couple yeah. hundred feet. Oh, yeah. This was like five or six days ago. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. I thought maybe a fire going on down there. Yeah. Well, there they was a controlled burn uh, over the weekend. Uh, so, so those long linear clouds were from the controlled burn. Mm -hmm. north. Yeah, so we were coming back from Tubac. Uh, no, maybe it was Thursday. Yeah, we, we saw that up in the sky. I wasn't mm -hmm. sure if it was the forest fire or but then we saw in the news it was controlled burn. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yeah, but uh, I think that, oops, how'd that happen? I guess I got to watch this. Way I pick up this mouse. All right. Um, the thing I liked about this was that they had just trimmed all these trees. Yeah. Like they gave them a shape mm -hmm. or something. Yeah. Kind of yeah. 
<laughs> kind of added to the perspective. This was just an iPhone yeah. shot. I was just going down the road mm -hmm. so I hadn't stopped. And then this was just oh, a yeah. wild mushroom that was laying in the ground in the forest, dried up and took it into a bed and played around with it a bit. Mm -hmm. And I can't remember where this was, but I really liked the uh, weathering on it. Oh, yeah. That's some major rust. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, that's all rust. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that last, that lock's just basically a hasp keeper now. Yeah. Made in 1912. Yeah. Huh. yeah, this was down at Bonaire. Uh, I think uh, mm. one of your students in, in Muddle's class was showing the lighthouse there. Oh, uh, yeah. The, the slave huts down there. But, uh, kind of a, a low, scrubby island that doesn't have much on it anymore, except for diving at mm. expensive restaurants. Mm -hmm. Nice place mm -hmm. to go. Yeah, that's all I got this week. But uh, yeah, this site, uh, if you want to try doing some different things with your images, it might might be worthwhile for you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so society6.com. Okay, let me uh, stop sharing.